shaping up for the air show. Yeah, and I think a lot of the pilots that are going to be, uh, you know, piloting these aircraft over the weekend are probably wondering, what about the wind? Yes. Yeah. The wind is going to be easing down as we go through okay. the back half of today and eventually into tomorrow. And if you're going to be going out there to spectate, the gates open at 9 a.m. Uh, both Saturday and Sunday. So you'll probably want the layer for the start of the uh, festivities there at 9 a.m. Temperatures will be in the low 50s, but look at the day ahead for Saturday. We'll have just light winds uh, coming across our areas like Fairfield and Solano County. Sunny skies will be bright, so grab the shades, have a hat if you are going to be heading out to uh, the festivities there over in Solano County at Travis Air Force Base. And then Sunday, just a few scattered clouds. That'll be the only disruption really uh, in the forecast for the pilots and for spectators. Expecting in the next three days, we will have less wind as part of the forecast. Wall to wall sunshine and mild temperatures going into a holiday weekend as we get into uh, St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. Your forecast today, though, still breezy to occasionally gusty out the gate in the morning. We're looking at upper 60s by lunchtime in Sacramento. Stockton and Modesto area still breezy at 3 p.m., but beyond 3 o'clock, we should start to notice that that wind really backs down as we go through the back half of the day and into the evening. Your foothills planner, a little bit of a light breeze out there for the morning. By lunchtime, that breeze will start to ease, and we're looking at temperatures pushing into the mid to upper 60s. If you're planning to head out to the slopes, there may be some wind holds early on as you get to the, uh, you know, the, the lifts that start spinning around 9 a.m. Then once we get beyond lunchtime, you'll really start to notice those winds ease easing back for the back half of the day for skiing and riding. Temperatures will be into the mid 40s uh, today in the mountains. What we're looking at for the weekend ahead, high pressure building in here off the Pacific Northwest area of low pressure. We need this to move to the east for those winds to gradually diminish and it's slowly going to make its trek to the east tonight and into the daytime Saturday and into Sunday. So we're definitely going to notice the biggest influence for the weekend will be this area of high pressure keeps us dry, keeps us mainly sunny and it's going to keep us mild with the lighter winds as that low again travels to the east. So we're looking at temperatures kind of staying in that lower to mid 70s range throughout the entire weekend. And then by next week, we just kind of hop around those lower to mid 70s. And while this seven day forecast is dry, as I look at the longer range forecast, we might still see some rain guys for March. So don't put away the rain gear really? just yet. Interesting. Okay. All right, yeah. we will see. Mm -hmm. We've got a crash in Stockton.